Hello. Today is my first uh, video tutorial in Erzurg Arcade. I had uh, a weblog previously, but I won't write it in there uh, because uh, honestly it was hard to keep it alive. Uh, today I want to speak with you about developing uh, templates for coding. To be honest, I'm uh, working on Windows uh, and I use uh, Visual Studio and developing the templates for scripts are very easy in uh, Visual Studio but uh, watching uh, PT on Bergzer Arcade annoyed me sorry PT, no offense but uh, I thought there are lots of people developing games on uh, Mac OS so uh, they don't have access to uh, applications like Visual Studio and most of the time they are using uh, MonoDevelop and uh, as much as I knew there was no easy way to develop a, a nice template for MonoDevelop so I searched web I googled it and as much as I searched and uh, uh, what should I say? I didn't find so many resources. Just one resource, and with that source, I started to understanding the way I can develop a nice template for Mono Develop. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce you to nice, uh, I should say, text development. Uh, applications one for Windows and one for Mac uh, the one for Windows is called Notepad++ you just uh, put it in Google and the first option is Notepad++ and download and install it for Mac it calls Mac Macpad++ it's the first option again but it's uh, referring to SourceForge and if you want to read about this uh, application here is the uh, project homepage and opening it you can find the download and read more now as I said I'm using Windows and I installed Notepad++ it's very nice it's very easy to use and the nice thing is that you have a bunch of uh, languages to, be, uh, to use them and uh, there is C-sharp and JavaScript for you but uh, you know that when you are using these two uh, products it doesn't connect themselves automatically to mono behavior and to unity uh, so why I introduce it to you because for developing our templates we need them and it's easier for me to use them okay uh, let me show you the first and easiest way to change your um, mono behavior development scripts if you go to uh, your installed unity project folder uh, you have two folders there one called editor and one called mono develop if you go to editor then data and then resources you can find two scripts here mono behavior script and new behavior script for JavaScript uh, let us uh, take a look at the C-sharp one if you pay attention it's the original script that each time you create a script on Unity it puts there so if you tweak this script in uh, here each time you create a project in uh, Unity, you'll have this. For example, there's a start, there's update. Okay, I want to add another one called void array. And let us put this one down, this one down, and remove the spaces now getting rid of the 
comments and just saving it. Okay. Uh, now you may have, uh, think that what is these two uh, folders I have seen a comment for uh, Pite. I am following his tutorial on uh, RPG game hacker and slash. These are uh, the folders I created developing that uh, tutorial step by step. Uh, to be uh, clean, I put them here. So now, create another C sharp script and bingo. If you take a look, we have a bake, we have a star, and we have update. No comments, and they're in nice and neat. But the problem here, uh, I won't open it because it will, it will jump to uh, Visual Studio. But if you pay attention, you have to change this name here, new behavior script, every time you create a script. And I have seen many times uh, from PTA, from others, that they forget to rename it. It's annoying. And I want to have a way to make it automatic. So, okay, it's easy, it was fast, but it's not convenient enough. For those who has Windows, I'll start to introduce you how to develop your template on Visual Studio. Uh, if you don't have Visual Studio, or if you have uh, Mac OS, just uh, fast forward, forward scrub to the place that I'm starting to de develop the template for, uh, sorry, MonoDevelop program. So first of all, Let's open this script and you can see that it's uh, upgrading the Visual Studio project. Okay, it's called new behavior script, new behavior script from mono behavior, array to start update. Well, to be honest, I like to have more things here. And uh, first of all, I need a region. Regions are my friends because they will uh, make your projects more manageable. The first region will be on uh, my public sorry, variables and end region. Oh, end region. Okay. So now each time I close a region, I will hide all the Public. I will hold, hide all the variables there, but I know where they are. The second one, region, properties, and region. The next one will be my uh, private variables, private variables. Capital P and region and uh, region. The next one will be my uh, common uh, classes. And I'll add another one called uh, custom classes. Okay, that's enough. So each time I'm developing a uh, script, it will be something like this. Okay? Clean and neat. Now I personally like to add more, like a uh, menu item. And require minutes. So I'll add, add 
Menu item, if I correct, yeah, I add component menu and the string. Of course, it will give me a starting point and then require, require component, and that's it. So each time I start. Uh, my, and, ah, sorry, I comment them too, both of them. So each time I'm starting a project, a class, I think to myself, do I need a menu? Do I need a requirement? If not, then keep them closed. Then I'll start my private and uh, public classes, uh, sorry, variables and common classes. And I'll start from there. Now, good enough. How can I make a template from this one? Uh, it's easy. Go to File, Export Template. You need to save your solution. Choose Item Template. Hit Next. It will list all your uh, things in your project. I don't need any of them. Just the script one. Searching for one ideal. Okay, here it is. New behavior script. Check it. Next. Keep attention. None of these will be checked. And next. Now I rename it to RPG because I have my own uh, templates. And just give a description. So it will be test. Uh, template for mono behavior and let's choose an icon for it so I see uh, let's choose this one finish it will open my exported templates folder you can see that I have or templates for myself and here is your RPG uh, template it's in zip format so if you want you can uh, attach it to an email and uh, send it for your friend, uh, friends so let's test it okay now I'll delete this mono behavior script and in assets it's easier add a new item Hurry up. Okay. If I scroll down, here is my four base classes, and here is your RPG. Let's rename it to something like my own name, Aliriza. And let's look. Take a look. Ignore this one. Okay. So here you are. It's renamed automatically, and you have all your regions and you can start developing your own uh, classes 